y'all it's Adasia and this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how I did these large knotless braids on myself this video is part two if you haven't checked out part one go ahead and watch that first to see how I pre-parted my hair and now let's get started so for this look I used five packs of Outre Expression pre-stretched braid and hair in the color 2T1B30 and you know I got me a little braiding rag so I used that to pre-separate the hair and just make the process a whole lot faster So the first thing I like to do is take some Shining Jam by Magic Finger Studio and put it all around the base of that section of hair. And then I smooth it all out with my comb and my fingers so the base can lay nice and flat. Then I split my hair into three sections to begin the braid and I feed in one piece of braiding hair in between my thumb and my index finger. And then I start braiding. So when I start braiding, I make sure that I grip my hair firmly but not tight so the braid is nice and secure. And I fed in the hair about seven times right here. So just letting y'all know in case that helps. And usually when I get to the ends of my real hair, I put some more shining jam just to make sure it blends in with the braiding hair and I continue braiding. Once I get to my chest, I add two more pieces of braiding hair to add length and maintain the fullness of the braid because I don't like when braids get too skinny too quick. That irritates me. So I just add two more pieces of braiding hair in the middle of the braid. And then I braid down to the very end and that's it. That's how I do my large knotless braid. And this is how it's looking so far. I'm really loving the outcome of these braids. And I just love the overall neatness. And they feel really secure. They lasted about a month. And I'm going to show you again, step by step, how to do my large knotless braid. So I'm going to stop talking. And you guys just keep watching. And I'll see you after I'm finished braiding.
Alright, I'm finally done y'all. I'm so happy with how these came out. I love the parts, the color, like it's everything for me. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my blow dryer and shine and jam mousse to set the braids. First, I like to take my shine and jam mousse and saturate my braids. I don't really like to put the mousse on my roots because I know my hair is going to start reverting and curl up and we don't want that. We want it to just stay nice, sleek and neat. Then I take my blow dryer and set it on high and blow dry my braids to melt all the stray hairs away. After that, I boil hot water in my kettle and I dip the ends of my braids to seal them. I use this kettle only for hair because I got tired of boiling water on the stove. So I bought this kettle from Amazon and it only takes like two minutes to boil and I love it. And make sure you have a thick towel with you when you're dipping your ends so you won't burn yourself. And then after I dip the ends, I pour the boiling water on the towel so I can just set the rest of my braid. Not to the root, but like the middle part of it, if that makes sense. I just think this helps lay the braids flatter since they're so large. And that's it. That's how I did my large knotless braids. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped. And hopefully it helps you figure out your new hairstyle and save you some coins too. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!